everyone welcome back to the channel MLT lectures if you are new to this channel here we discuss everything related to medical laboratory technology course so don't forget to subscribe the channel in this video we are discussing about urine test by dipstick method or chemical examination of urine by using dipstick Here the dipstick we use is reacted with the solid phase dry reagent areas attached to a plastic holder. This dipstick rea contains reagent for detection of urobilinogen, glucose, ketones, bilirubin, protein, nitrite, pH, blood, specific gravity, leukocytes and ascorbic acid. Now let's look into the chemical principle of each test. First one is urobilinogen. This is based on the diazotization reaction of diazonium salt and urinary urobilinogen in a strong acid medium. The color ranges from light pink to dark reddish pink in color. Next we have is test for glucose which is based upon the sequential enzyme reaction. First the glucose oxidase catalyzes the formation of gluconic acid and hydrogen peroxide from the oxidation of glucose. Then peroxidase catalyzes the reaction of hydrogen peroxide with potassium iodide to color ranging from greenish light blue to greenish brown and lastly to brown color. Third one we have is detection of ketones. The test is based upon the reaction of acetoacetic acid in urine with nitrofluoride. The resulting color ranges from tan when no reaction is taken place to different purple shades for positive reaction. Bilirubin. This test is based upon the coupling of bilirubin with 2,4-dichlorophenyl diazonium salt in a strong acid medium. The color changes from light tan to dark tan. Now test for protein. This test is Based on the color change of the indicator tetrabromophenol blue in the presence of proteins. A positive reaction is indicated by the color change from greenish yellow to green and then to dark green in color. Test for nitrite is based upon the reaction of para arsalilic acid and nitrite derived from a dietary nitrate in the presence of bacteria in a urine to form diazonium compound. Then this reacts with n one naphthyl ethylene diamine in acidic medium. The resulting color is pink. Any degree of pink color is considered as positive. pH the test is based upon the double indicator that is methyl red and bromothymol blue which gives a broad range of colors covering the entire urinary pH range. The color range from orange to greenish yellow and then to bluish green. Test for blood is based upon the Pseudoperoxidase activity of hemoglobin, which catalyzes the reaction of 3 3 prime 5 5 prime tetramethyl benzidine with buffer organic hydrogen peroxidase. The resulting color ranges from greenish yellow to greenish blue and then to dark blue. Specific gravity 
is based upon the acid dissociation change that is pka change in the presence of urinary cations proton are released from the polyelectrolyte the producing a color change in the bromothymol blue indicator from blue to yellow color leukocyte test for leukocyte this reveals the presence of granulocyte studies the studies cleave a derivative pyrazole ester to release derivatized hydroxide pyrazole this react with diazonium salt to give purple color storage instruction for deep sticks the provided reagent are stable in the room temperature until the expiration date is stated on the box the test strips are provided in the container with a desiccant pouch since the strip are sensitive to the specific environmental factor like moisture heat and light do not expose the strip to the factors after taking out one strip replace the cap to avoid moistening of the reagent do not remove the desiccant from the container transferring the strip to another container may deteriorate them or turn them non reactive deterioration of reagent can be identified by discoloration or darkening of reactive areas if discoloration or darkening are seen in the dipstick discard the strips sample here uses urine sample collection of a sample is done in a usual way perform the test shortly after collection if it cannot be performed within 1 hour of collection refrigerate the sample immediately before performing the test bring the sample to room temperature and homogenize without centrifugation now procedure to do chemical analysis by using dipstick first be safe by wearing gown and gloves mix the urine insert the reagent strip then remove excess of the urine then time the reaction compare the test areas to the color chart then lastly record the result here is how we dip the dipstick inside the urine bottle immerse the full length of the test strip in the urine sample ensuring all the test pads are covered then remove the excess urine on the lip of the sample bottle after the time is over then mark the color change and report interpretation of the result the result are obtained by direct comparison with the color chart printed in the container label this is how the interpretation chart looks like for every chemical change there is different color standards thank you if you haven't seen other videos of urine examination the link is below in the description box please like share and subscribe the channel